I'm building this game with Angular and Phaser, and I was able to use web workers with Angular to solve a problem which would otherwise basically have made this project completely unfeasible. Web workers have made the difference between about 5 to 10 seconds of everything being frozen whilst the main thread is blocked, to having no blocking time at all. So let's take a look at the problem first. The basic idea is that I'm using a wave function collapse algorithm to generate the tile map for the ground in this game. I already have a video on wave function collapse if you're interested in the specifics of that algorithm, but the basic idea is that I can feed this algorithm some input pattern, and it will generate random outputs that are similar to that pattern based on rules it infers from the example input. The downside of this algorithm is that it is computationally expensive, and even to generate this small chunk of terrain, it takes about 5 seconds. That's not so bad on the initial load, but the problem I have is that I need to load in chunks as the player walks. Since JavaScript is single threaded, I can't really just block the main thread for 5 seconds whilst this algorithm runs, as the game and UI would just freeze until the algorithm is done, which is not a great experience and would probably require throwing up some kind of loading screen every time it happens. So that's where web workers come into play. Web workers allow us to run some code off of the main thread which sort of gives us multi-threading capabilities in JavaScript. The big asterisk here is that web workers don't have any access to the DOM, so there are a lot of things you can't just offload to a web worker for performance gains. But for situations where you have something that is very computationally expensive and doesn't require DOM access, at least for the majority of its work, it can be a huge win. And that's exactly what this situation is. I can run this wave function collapse algorithm entirely in a web worker, that web worker can then communicate the resulting tile layout back to the main thread, and then the main thread can handle actually rendering those tiles. Angular has great support for web workers out of the box. To get one up and running quickly, you can just run this command. In my case, I'm using nx with Angular and used this command instead. This will handle the configuration for the web worker automatically, and you'll be able to find the web worker itself in this app.worker.ts file and there is also some example code added to the app component. The basic idea is that we first create a new worker. We then set up a listener so that the main thread can react to messages the worker sends to it. And we can also post messages from our main thread to our worker. If we look at the worker itself, we can see that it is also using post message to send messages back to the main thread. And that is the basic idea with web workers. Our main thread posts some message to the worker, our worker will do some kind of work in its own isolated little environment, and then that worker will post the result back to the main thread. If we inspect the console, we can see this communication between the worker and the main thread. If we want to verify that the worker is actually operating off of the main thread, we can record a quick performance snapshot, and we can see that tasks are happening on our worker thread. These are insignificant now, but later we will inspect the massive amount of processing that is offloaded to this worker. So first I moved this worker code into its own service. This isn't specifically required, but it works well for the architecture of my project, and I also wanted to add some additional type safety around how I communicate with this worker. I've also converted the post message events from the worker into an RxJS stream I can listen to. Again, not strictly required, but this works well for me. Then I basically just moved my terrain generation code inside of the worker and set up some messages to call the worker when I needed terrain generated, along with setting up the necessary handler to listen to the response from the worker and render the result to the screen. Theoretically, things should just work at this point, but I immediately ran into a problem as I received this error. Which might seem a bit confusing, especially with the context of knowing that my terrain generation code, or any of my code at all, has nothing at all to do with HTML video elements. If we need, we can debug workers by pulling up the sources tab and finding the worker. And if I inspect the source of the worker, I can see that a bunch of phaser code is being pulled in. And this code is referencing stuff from the DOM. Workers don't have access to the DOM, and so this causes the error. If I comment out this create terrain call, we can see that we don't have the additional phaser code being bundled with the worker. The phaser code is being pulled into the bundle because other code in the module that create terrain is in depends on stuff from phaser, even though create terrain itself has no dependencies. To deal with this, I just moved the wave function collapse algorithm stuff into its own module. Now this module contains all the code the worker needs and it's not importing from any other modules. So nothing unwanted is going to be pulled into the web worker bundle. And now it works. 
This is the typical zoomed in view for the game, but if I zoom out we are able to see the two initial extra chunks on either side of the screen. As well as using the web worker to generate new chunks as the user walks around, I also use it to generate the two initial off screen chunks. And this is an easy way to see just how much of an improvement this is. If I load up the game we see the initial middle chunk rendered which is intentionally loaded on the main thread because we need that immediately before we can begin the game. But you can see that there is no terrain on the left and the right of the screen and 5 to 10 seconds later the terrain pops in. If we bring up a performance profile we can see that during this entire time the worker is doing heavy computations but it is having no effect on the main thread. The player is free to walk around and the game and UI can be updated however I like whilst the web worker does its task separately. Once the web worker is done, the main thread takes over again to actually render the tiles, which requires DOM access, but that is a very cheap operation in comparison to the algorithm that determines what those tiles should be. So if you ever have a scenario where you're doing heavy computations on the main thread that don't require DOM access, web workers might effectively be a free performance boost for your app. If you found this video helpful, please consider a like or subscribe before you go, and I hope to see you back here again.